Let's talk a little bit about that final show in Comedy Alley, because I really do want to give a huge shout out to you and Sabrina Douglas for really carrying that show. We had a couple cancellations uh, of comics and you guys both delivered and you guys really wanted to make sure that that audience was uh, satisfied comedically and you both you both came out swinging and it was fantastic to watch. Sabrina did about 40 minutes. You did about an hour and 15, maybe Lars. And like, it was, it was an incredible night of comedy and to watch you both do what you love is absolutely riveting and is very inspiring. So thank you. Thank you both for, for doing so much for that show. Um, yeah, the, the, it was the great. show must go on. So to to uh, listeners at home, very rarely happens, but uh, mm-hmm. we had a couple comics go down with sickness. Another mm-hmm. one had car issues. Uh, so our lineup of comedians kind of right before showtime disintegrated. Uh, and usually we have three of myself uh, and I, I, I'm, I do a, I do a heavy host, which means I do a little more time than a a uh, typical host might do if you were to go to a Yuck Yucks or comedy club. Usually they do about 10 to 12 to 15 off the top and then maybe just a few minutes between the acts or sometimes no time between the acts. Or mm-hmm. they might do a little bit of extra time um, if one comic didn't go over that well, if they need to bring the energy back up in the room. Or if uh, a comic crushes, they might need to let the the room settle and get back down to baseline before bringing... Uh, the next comic up so that everyone's sort of coming up at a, at a clean slate. But yeah, so, so uh, Sabrina was on the way and she, I knew she was going to be coming, but uh, she was getting there a little late. So it was the interesting thing as a host where I was going on stage, knowing that three comics were not coming at all. And um, Sabrina was coming at some point. And I had put up a couple last minute messages to comics that I knew in the, in the, in the area that might be able to pop by, but I started the stage uh, I started the show not knowing how long and even really who I would be introducing next. So it was just like, go up on stage and just keep going until I see another comic come into the alley. And then <laughs> and then it turned out to be Sabrina. Uh, but then Sabrina, normally we would do 15 to 20 minute spots. Uh, we were just gave her the the stretch it out sign. And she did, she did a full 40, which was yeah. amazing. Uh, I think off the top, I did, I did a half an hour or maybe, yep. yeah, I probably, probably did probably least, close to 35, 40 minutes. Yeah, maybe. I did. Yeah. It was eight fifty. I think we started at about eight fifteen, and it was eight fifty five yeah. when I went up, when I brought her up and mm-hmm. then uh, she did 40 and then I did maybe an extra 15 just to kind of put a button on the end, which you don't normally do as a host. You don't normally do time after the quote unquote headliner. Uh, mm-hmm. But as it turned out, uh, turned out great. Yeah, it was beautiful. I didn't want to end the la- the shittiest thing would have be to you don't want to end the season on a lackluster show. No. Um, so we had to pull it together. Yeah, and and one of my favorite bits was performed that night, Lars, and it's actually a bit that you created. Um, it's one of my favorite things that you've started performing recently, and it got a huge response on. Uh, the final night of Comedy Alley. I actually have a clip. Yes. You want to say the magic yes. words, Lars? Uh, well, this video, uh, first of all, I want to say it's one of the stupidest bits I've ever made. It is it's great. Super dumb. No, it's uh, awesome. But it's fun and silly. Uh, the clip that we're seeing is actually from two weeks ago where I had to come do my spot and then I had the jet over to Royal Comedy Theater because I was opening and hosting for Bob Rubin. Uh, which was really fun because I got to come here and go up on stage and get everyone riled up and then just like like a rock star, just get in my limousine and head across town to the next venue. Uh, my limousine was, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, TTC. Yeah. Nice. My limo. Nice. I have an underground limousine uh, that travels through underground tunnels. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is great right. that you're so generous enough to let everyone else use it as well. Yeah, I mean, there's Rome. If you're going to have this big stretch limo, it's like, who am I? I don't want to be Bruce Wayne alone in my limo being all lonely. Oh. So I just let oh. the whole city ride for a reasonable exactly. price, $3.25. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to roll the clip. This is a clip from Comedy Alley from a couple weeks ago to commemorate our end of season finale. 
So this is a Joe Lars Larson original. Uh, it's called Going Downstairs. <laughs> and all my songs are really emotional, like heartfelt. Like you know when you see on American Idol and someone tells a tells a long story and they're heartwarming, like they they had a, sur a harrowing tale of survival, some dead relatives along the way, maybe a sickness. So just pretend I've said all of those things, and then I, and then I come on stage and I do this. Uh, this is called uh, Going Downstairs. Thank you, thank you. That was Going Downstairs, a Joe Lars Larson original. Not a cover, I did write that. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, one more quick one here. Um, also, this is also an original. This is called um, Going Down the Stairs and Coming Back Up Again. It goes a little something like this. And a one, two, three, two, three. Thank you, thank you. That was a Joe Lars Larson original. That was going downstairs and coming back up again. Uh, you know what? I, I wasn't going to do a third one, but I'm going to do, do, do a quick third one. Uh, rule of three in comedy, right? Uh, so um, this one's called um, this one's called going down the stairs and getting halfway down and forgetting why you went downstairs, and then giving up and going back upstairs because you don't know why you're going downstairs. But then when you get halfway up, back up, you remember the thing and then you go downstairs and you grab the thing you originally went down for and then you come back upstairs. But then you get halfway back upstairs and realize there was a second thing you could have done while you were downstairs. You could have grabbed that too and get two birds stoned at once. So you go back downstairs, grab that thing as well and then go back upstairs. Uh, it is an original. <laughs> grabbing the thing, then getting halfway back up, then remember there was another thing you could have grabbed, then go back downstairs to grab that, and then coming back upstairs again. <laughs> <laughs>